welcome back to my channel my name is amanda if you're new i make a ton of fashion and lifestyle videos i would love for you to stick around i am very excited about this video because we took our engagement pictures back in october and i feel like that was so long ago and I've been kind of holding on to this content and waiting for the right time to share it with you guys. First, I just want to tell you guys thank you so much for all the love that you showed me from our engagement party video. We had so much fun. Um, it was very exhausting because my family and I traveled from my hometown to San Antonio, which is about a six hour drive, but it was so much fun and I really enjoyed like filming that and getting to share it with you guys. Today, I'm going to share with you guys everything I did to prepare for our engagement shoot. So if you are engaged or you will be soon this is great to refer back to and just take my tips into consideration when you are preparing for your engagement shoot when Muhammad and I decided that we wanted to take engagement pictures the very first thing I did was I got online and I started to research for an experienced photographer but specifically experienced in shooting couples so since Muhammad and I weren't very familiar with taking professional photos together I really wanted someone who was experienced in shooting couples to kind of guide us through the process I searched for uh, under hashtags on Instagram so I searched for things like Dallas photographers Dallas engagements stuff like that so if you um, want to search for an engagement photographer in your area just start with Instagram go to the hashtags start searching your city and words like engagement photographer and just look through the pictures and find uh, pictures that you like and that stand out to you after I found the photographer I reached out to her and told her that I was interested and then I started on figuring out what the heck I was gonna wear and where we were gonna go so figuring out where we were gonna go wasn't as hard because I would kind of scroll through her page and look at the location she had already been to and just kind of like pick one from there and then depending on the location I would figure out what to wear from there it's about 8 45 at night in the mail earlier i got the one of the dresses i'm gonna be wearing for engagement pictures and i was gonna wait to open it for tomorrow because i'm just like in my pajamas but i can't wait like i really want to open it so i'm gonna open it with you guys and i'm really hoping it fits because if it doesn't we have a problem so looks like this so pretty from Beholden. They have the most beautiful dresses and the most beautiful packaging. Oh, this is like a dream. Thank you, dear bride-to-be. So exciting. Okay, we're gonna open it like this. So it comes in like a hanging bag. That's awesome. I'm gonna put it on for you guys because I feel like the hanger just doesn't do it justice. <laughs> How beautiful is this dress? Okay, let me show you guys. Okay, here's the dress. I'm not the biggest fan of the slit in the front, but it'll be like pulled down and during pictures you won't even be able to tell like that that exists. Definitely gonna have to wear Spanx. <laughs> so, so pretty. I'm so happy with this. I wanted our engagement pictures to be a little bit more on the formal side, so I did wear two long dresses for both locations that we went to. And if that is your thing, I've linked a ton of similar dresses down below. Unfortunately, the two that I wore are not available anymore because we did take these back in October, but a ton of similar ones are linked down below. I just got off work. It's 4.30. I got off a little bit early because I'm getting my hair cut. And I work in Plano, and the place that I'm getting my hair cut at is in Frisco, which is like 20 minutes from here. So I'm headed there now, and I really want a coffee. So I don't know if I'm gonna stop when, if I pass anything, I'll stop. But I'm just gonna get a trim, nothing major. My hair is like pretty good length. I wanna keep it this length. I just need a trim, and thought it was perfect timing before pictures. Currently in line at Starbucks, about to get a drink. And I never drink coffee this late on during the work week because I can never sleep, but I don't care because I'm so tired and feel like I'm not even talking straight. So that's what's about to happen. Hi, welcome to Turbo. What can you 
good for you. Hi, can I get a tall pumpkin cream cold brew? Anything else for you? That's it. Or it's any excellent Thank, Thank you. you. Second time trying this. Sorry, I didn't get the taste test on camera, but it's really, really good. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I didn't really have a good one the first time, but this one's really good. I just got here, so I'm gonna go inside soon and get a haircut. Shake and rake, yeah, as far as like breaking rake. it up, exactly. Yeah, and then the twist and shake, yes. he like twisted each curl and then shook it and then he diffused it, which gives it a lot more yeah. defined curl. And so now you can like actually see my curls, and I feel like it just looks like way better. Like it makes what I do in my hair in the mornings not as <laughs> not as good. But thanks, Scott, for doing my hair. My pleasure, and, Amanda. Yes, I will put his. Instagram down below and you guys can follow him and see all of his amazing work. is some of these things I did might seem a little extra but I really wanted to do what I could to look my best for the pictures because to me they're like the pictures you take before your wedding pictures I want to print a lot of them to have in our future house so I wanted to look my best so I am now home and just brushing out my hair I'm really happy I decided not to put heat on it um, and it looks a lot shorter as you can tell, but obviously it's not the short it's just because my hair is curly and we did the like twirl and what's it called? Diffuse. So I'm glad I didn't put heat on it because obviously like I'm going to be straightening my hair for pictures this weekend and so that's just less heat I have to put on my hair. Quickly came home, got in my pajamas and I'm, I made dinner. I made a pasta with this is the chick it's a chickpea pasta hold on i've got to turn my air down it's so hot in here so it's a chickpea pasta and then i sauteed like some onions and garlic and cherry tomatoes and basil and i just like put that together and it's really good and it's like a good meat alternative if you don't want to like eat meat the chickpea i think it's um 
Bonza is the brand of pasta and it doesn't even taste like chickpeas and it's really, really good. Tomorrow I've got, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday. Also, I have this huge zit right here and it actually hurts really bad. Don't think it's going away anytime soon. Another tip and something to really keep in mind if you have scheduled time with a photographer is a day or two before you have scheduled time with them, reach out to them, make sure you're both on the same page about what time you're meeting, the location that you're meeting and all of that. And also keep in mind any holidays or events that are happening on that day um, of your shoot. So for example, we were taking pictures on a Sunday and one of our locations was a church. And so I will get into the conversation that I had with my photographer. Um, the photographer actually just texted me today and like we were finalizing on like where we're gonna go and stuff because we're gonna go to two locations so we have two outfits. One of the locations we're going to is by a church and we're taking pictures on Sunday so there's gonna be people going to church and um, we're just trying to figure out like she was trying to tell me like what time service the services were so that we can try to take pictures in between and i just feel like there's gonna be a lot of people and we're gonna be like around a bunch of people it's gonna be awkward but we're gonna make it work because it's such a beautiful location like i refuse to go anywhere else <laughs> The next thing I did in advance of our pictures was I took one of my dresses, which was the pink one, um, to get altered. Um, it was a little bit low of a v-neck and then it didn't really fit me around the waist. So I decided to take it to get it altered and I'm really glad I did because she altered it and she also steamed it. Make sure you steam all of your clothes and your man's clothes in advance. You don't wanna wake up that morning if you have an early shoot and be steaming your clothes right before you have to go take pictures. It's just too much of a cluster of things. So make sure all of your stuff is steamed the day before. So I got off work, I went and got a coffee and I'm gonna go and pick up my dress from Alterations, which I was supposed to do yesterday, but I didn't. I'm gonna go there and then I'm gonna go get my eyebrows threaded. And then um, I'm gonna go home because I just wanna go home. So let's go. It just left the alterations. My dress is back there. It's a pink dress, which I can try on for you guys when I get home. But I'm really happy because La, who is the alteration lady um, at Alteration Station, she uh, steamed it for me. So. I don't have to do that if it doesn't get like ruined back there but so glad that's done now next is eyebrows which i probably won't take you guys in there my camera's actually about to die i think but yep that's next the night before our pictures i really wanted to go to sleep with a very clean exfoliated and moisturized face so i did my entire skincare routine that i usually do and i added an exfoliant i'm gonna wash my face i thought i would show you guys some products that i have been using on my face i would have loved to have gotten a facial before pictures but um didn't have time to do that. I thought I would just keep my face like super deep clean, moisturize like a lot, and I wanna show you guys the products I have been using. This is the Purity Facial Cleanser by Philosophy, and this is like a super basic cleanser if you need one um, to literally just be like a one-step cleanser, get all your makeup off, which is just one that I've been using right now. This one, I feel like is really good for combination skin, like, normal to combination um i don't feel like it would be really good for dry or oily skin maybe dry because it's uh pretty moisturizing but i really like it it's not like one of my absolute favorites but it's been really good and it's lasted a long time so if you just want like a super simple face wash to get all your makeup off um that's a good one sorry my my washing machine's on right now so that's what that sound is if you guys can hear that okay next i've been using these sephora glow peel pads i don't use these every single day i've used these oops <laughs> don't use these every single day i i've used these once this week so it's just like a little pad it's just really good for like exfoliating and giving your skin like a super light glycolic acid peel. My skin gets super dry really easy, so I've 
just been like trying not to use these a lot but i've had like a few breakouts like right there and by my chin so I'm just trying to dry that out okay this next product is by belief i'm gonna let my face dry um this is a water essence and it's kind of like a serum i guess you could say i just like to put it on before a moisturizer to really like soak the moisturizer into my skin so it's super um water-based which i really like so if your skin is dry belief has really good water-based hydrating products and then of course i'm using the clinique moisture surge and just take like a little bit mm -hmm. Laneige Lip Slip Sleeping Mask and I don't know why I said lip slip. This is just a lip sleeping mask. And that's it. And I just feel like it's like super, I like to go to sleep and literally feel like my face like is just like so, so, so hydrated. So I can like sleep and then wake up and it will be still hydrated. So I'm not going to sleep right now, but I just wanted to take my makeup off and that's, I wanted to show you guys the products I've been using. So that's pretty much it. I decided to exfoliate my skin with the peel pads that you guys saw. And I did that because it kind of like takes off the dead skin um, that's on the surface of your face. And the next day when you put on makeup, it just goes on a lot more smoothly. And that way in your pictures, you don't see maybe like the peach fuzz or things like that. Your skin just looks way more smooth. The very last thing I want to share with you guys and something that I really regret because I didn't personally do was clean my ring before pictures. So your engagement ring is obviously going to be the main focal point other than the two of you for your pictures. Um, so make sure it's clean. So a very easy way to clean your ring at home is to put it in a bowl with um, dish soap and a spray of Windex or glass cleaner and then a little bit of warm water just to cover the ring and then leave it in there for five to 10 minutes and then take a baby toothbrush, a very soft toothbrush and then clean your ring with it and I swear it's brand new. I hope you guys can take some of these tips and incorporate them into your own engagement photo shoot if you are engaged comment down below because i would love to know who else is going through this right now in the next video i'm going to take you guys along in the actual engagement photo shoot with muhammad and i so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that and i'll catch you in the next video bye